The Game of Thrones creators are making Star Wars movies. Are you gonna add the explosion in on post or? Should I? No. That is right. The Game of Thrones creators are making a series of Star Wars films. Holy fuck. When I read this, I literally out loud was like, fuck. That's gonna be amazing because Game of Thrones is some of the best storytelling in the history of motion picture ever, I think. It's just amazing. It's, if, you, if you haven't watched it, go watch it right now. All seven seasons available. Just sit there and don't move until it's done and you're gonna go, oh my God, holy fuck. They just know how to tell a story. They know, they know what to do. Obviously, it's not completely theirs because you know, uh, George R. R. Martin, it's his thing. David Benhoff and D.B. Weiss know how to do it like no other. Uh, so they're gonna have, I, I guess, free reign to do whatever they want with this series. I mean, obviously not whatever they want, but they're probably gonna get to make up some original stories and like some original stuff. And they're gonna give us these main characters and we're gonna not, we're not gonna know who's gonna die because you know they don't give a fuck. They do not give a shit. We're gonna love this character for like the first two movies and be like, he's such a badass and so cool. And then he's gone, he's out of there. It's gonna be fucked. And I, I can't wait to be- I don't, I don't like it because I don't want wieners in my Star Wars movies. Cameron, it's owned by Disney. There's gonna be fucking wieners in it. That's, an H that's a separate saw, series. Why the fuck do you keep walking in my videos? It's a fucking HBO series. That's why they have fucking dicks in there, Cameron. This is a Dis it's gonna be a Disney movie. Nope. Curb Your Enthusiasm doesn't Get have Get back, what? Curb Your Enthusiasm doesn't have dicks. Just saying. Um, yeah, there's not, not gonna be any dicks in this. Probably. These are gonna but if be you want to put boobies in there, that's okay. Jeff Cliff is a scumbag. He was recently charged with soliciting sex from a 16-year-old girl. Uh, and he's also the co-creator of Counter-Strike. Woo, wink, game news. Everybody everywhere is getting exposed for being a, a, a scumbag and, and all types of entertainment. Like, oh, this guy did this and this guy did that. Like, just calm down. Can everybody just calm down and quit being scummy? Just, just you know, do your thing. Don't do things that you know are scummy and that you know that everyone else is gonna think is scummy because everyone's looking at you, stupid. Everyone's gonna see what you're doing. This guy filmed having sex with a 16-year-old girl with his iPhone. He paid her 300 bucks, three times apparently. They met on a sugar daddy, sugar baby website. He claims he didn't know that she was 16, but anyone in their right mind would be like, are you of legal age before we do this? You know what a 16-year-old looks like, okay? Come on! Yes, I hope he dies, and I hope she burns in his. Fuck you, Jess. Fuck you hard, buddy. I hope someone does fuck you hard. And finally, the next Call of Duty is supposedly Black Ops 4. We got some more leaked information on some video games. And uh, it's also supposedly coming to the Switch, which is not really a surprise because Black Ops 2 was on the Wii U and that was not doing too hot. I mean, at the time it was doing all right, but the Switch is fucking blowing up. So if Activision is not gonna port Black Ops 4 to the Switch, it's kind of weird. I know it's gonna be a huge graphical downgrade, from the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One, but they don't try to make an effort to do it. They're kind of stupid business-wise, right? I mean, I don't give a shit. I would never play Call of Duty on my Switch. I don't like Black Ops. F I'm not gonna like Black Ops 4. I'm just gonna be jetpacks and people flying around with energy shields and all this overcomplicated bullshit. I like COD 4, okay? I like simple, just we got our guns, we got our stuff, let's go, let's do this. A couple kill streaks. there you go. Not like you can do it's they're just doing way too much with Call of Duty and they're it's dead. Call of Duty's dead, right? It's dying. It's not dead yet. It sells tons, but it's gonna die. It's <laughs> not looking too good, especially if Black Ops 4 is in like a thousand more years in the future and you're just using flashlights to kill each other. Sorry, that's just IMO. Maybe you love Call of Duty. I don't know. Yell at me in the comments. As always, fuck Cameron. We don't like the look of him and we don't have a script. Hey. As always, thanks for watching. Uh, if you got any news stories or anything like that, hit us up on Twitter, hit us up on Instagram, at FU Game Crew. I would love to talk about what you guys want me to talk about. That'd be great. Also, if you have any suggestions, leave them down in the comments below, or you just want to say hey, or whatever, or you want to berate me, I would love to have a conversation with you. So let me know. And if you liked the video, leave a like. If you didn't, I will beg you on my hands and knees to like it anyways, because it just means that much to me. Also, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button, become our friends, we wanna be your friends, let's do this. And if you wanna go above and beyond all of that, hit us up on Patreon for as low as a dollar a month, and we will let you take a bite of our sandwich if we ever meet you. And we have a sandwich with us. 
I want to say thank you to your loyalty. Thank you for your support. What is Perisetta's name? Is Perisetta's name? 